my fun-loving reading friends, it's Ani. I'm so glad you came to read with me. Are you ready for a story? In this book, we'll meet Finn the Frog. Finn isn't like most other frogs. Finn likes things clean, perfectly clean. His book is immaculate. Do you think he'll be able to keep it that way? Let's find out as we read. This book is perfect. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. This book is perfect. Written by Ron Karras. Illustrated by Arthur Lynn. Oh, hello there. I'm Finn the Frog, and this, my friend, is the cleanest book you will ever see. Some even say that it's perfect, but I don't really like to brag. I know, I know. Most frogs are slimy and dirty. But not me. No way. You see, I'm the tidiest frog you'll ever meet. I think you're going to be quite impressed with what you're about to see. Now then, shall we begin? Go on, turn the page. Ah! What is on your fingers? Are you eating cheesy puffs while reading my book? What are you thinking? You can't eat cheesy puffs while reading this book. Wipe your hands and put that snack away right now. Phew, that's better. A little elbow grease goes a long way when keeping things neat, you know. And after all, it could have been worse. It could have been... Juice! Are you kidding me? Sticky, drippy grape juice all over my perfect pages? Listen, kid, if there is anything you've got to know in life, it's this. Grape juice always stains. These pages are supposed to be white, not purple. This is not good, kid. Not good. Drat! This mop is worthless against such a mess! First the fingerprints, now the grape juice! I swear, this day couldn't get any- <gasps> What have you done? This is a nightmare! It has to be! Any minute now, I'm going to wake up and find out that there is not gum stuck on my page! It will be fine! Really? Any minute now. Wake up, Finn. Wake up now. It's not working. I don't think I'm dreaming. Breathe, Finn. <sighs> Breathe. Oh, there must be something I can use to get that sticky thing off my book. Mayday! Mayday! This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. My page is ripping! This is a disaster! I was so excited to show you my book, but now it is ruined forever! Ugh! I just want this all to be over! Maybe you should just close the book and end my misery! Wait! Don't close the book! Do you see what I see? This mess is attracting flies. Don't you know those tiny troublemakers throw up every time they land? Yuck! Even the thought of fly bath on my book is making me queasy. Shoo, fly, shoo! Go away! Oh, no! That useless fly just landed on my book. Think, Vin, think. How does one get rid of flies? Hmm, I wonder if my vacuum has a turbo mode for sucking up flies. No! Don't smash it, kid! Do you have any idea the kind of mess that would leave behind? I mean, all the guts and other oozy stuff that comes out of a fly? Not on my book! 
There's got to be another way. Me? Why are you looking at me? What do you expect me to do? Oh, right. Ah. Mmm, -mm. delish. I almost forgot how good those things taste. You know, I still believe cleanliness is the best policy. But maybe this mess wasn't so terrible after all. Come to think of it, without your help, I never would have gotten these tasty snacks. And besides, if I can't live with a mess, I can always turn the page. Perfect. If it hadn't been for the mess in the book, Finn never would have had his delicious snack. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.